As a young girl, I was athletic, I had friends, I was energetic. I just really felt like I had life under control. And then puberty struck, and then everything <laughs> went in the other direction for me. Suddenly my very fit, agile body changed quickly. Being athletic before, which came easy to me, suddenly was a bit of a struggle. So by the time I was 17 years old, I stopped playing provincial volleyball and the partying started to become more prevalent as we were getting older. I found drinking to be very helpful because it gave me a confidence in a social setting that I didn't normally have. As I was, you know, getting a little older, it, it was problematic and I, I would drink too much. So I started, you know, gaining weight and that started me off on a series of uh, eating disorders. Two weeks before grad, I got caught for impaired driving. And that, I, I, I truly look back and I see that moment as the turn for me. Fluid isometrics for me started with one single event and it was an anxiety attack that I was having when I was 30. Uh, I had finally found the strength to quit drinking about six months before that. And now I'm having to handle it in a sober way. I can't drink it away anymore. So this one anxiety attack I had, I was in such a state that I didn't actually know if I could breathe. And in that moment, I thought I was gonna die because I was just so terrified and my brain was just in chaos. And it was that moment that for whatever reason, I put my hand right into my belly and I encountered pain. The pain though became a ground for me. It brought me out of my crazy chaotic thinking and it brought me to the earth. And in that moment, I was like, I felt safe. I knew I was breathing. From that point forward was really the seed in the creation of fluid isometrics and block therapy. As I was exploring in the tissue in my belly, not only was I encountering the pain and discovering how much was actually in there, but I also realized how marbled my tissue felt. Having been a body worker for years at that point, I was very um, comfortable with what scar tissue felt like and what we needed to do with that working on people's backs and necks and legs and where, where you know we typically work as body workers. Block therapy evolved as a way of performing fluid isometrics on yourself. And I, I find that what it really does on the most purest level is it touches the cells inside of our body that are too distant from what we're consciously aware of. So it connects us more deeply within ourself. What inspires me the most about working with uh, individuals is seeing them get to that point within their body where they understand for themselves what's necessary for health. So when I see somebody getting it, getting understanding the breath, the necessity of breathing properly and what that means to lifelong health and well-being, that excites me because now I know that that person has left and they are now their own health advocate. It doesn't mean that they won't need help from professionals along the way, but there is so much that people are struggling with that if they just understood some basic concepts of what we, we need for health, that's the beauty of the block and fluid isometrics. It, it gives you that opportunity very simply and safely to connect back into your own body and to find that diaphragmatic breath. So that for me is the most exciting thing when I know somebody has actually left and now they're empowered. What is most different about me today compared to then was I trust myself now. It's not like we're not going to encounter problems along the way and, and even potential devastation, but at the end of the day, I trust myself to know how to handle it and to know what to do with that. This is simply a path of discovering yourself. It's, it's not about anything other than that. And it's not about looking a certain way or acting a certain way or being a certain way. It's about connecting to your inner space so that you can hear what your cells are saying and you can move forward in your life in the most healthy, peaceful way possible. Mm -hmm.